go through the update process for updating themes on ThemeForest. This won't be the same for all themes on ThemeForest, but it would cover the majority of them. So right now I'm using the factory uh, theme from Commerce Gurus and common issue which happens sometimes with a theme update is that one of the plugins that you're using uh, may stop working due to the plugin not working with a later version of WordPress or some compatibility issues. So typically how this manifests itself is if I go into edit a page and you'll see Visual Composer appears uh, on screen. However, oh, we can't edit our content. Content has disappeared. Now if I switch back to classic mode, you'll see the editor appears and you can see all our uh, Visual Composer markup in the editor. So our content hasn't disappeared. Uh, the page still works, as we can see, but I can't edit anything. So for all intents and purposes, it looks like something has gone wrong with Visual Composer. <clears throat> Quick tip for people, before you go chasing your theme author, one thing you can do to help your theme author figure out what the problem is, is to open your console so that in Macland is Command, Option, and I. We'll just open and close the console. Um, and the other way you can get to that console, by the way, is just to right click and go to inspect. And if you go into the actual console window, now it's interesting here is you see an error. So this error is a straight away giveaway sign that there is something wrong on this page. Now, lots of things can cause errors like this. For example, uh, if you go into your plugins, and you deactivate everything. Sorry, let's hide the inspector for a moment. Let's deactivate everything. Now let me just reactivate Visual Composer. Now, if we go back to the page, let's go back here and edit again. Now, we can see here, let me just open the console window again, error still happens. So what I did just did there was proved that the issue wasn't a conflict, a plugin conflict. Um, plugin conflicts can cause errors like this, but this is pretty conclusive that this isn't a plugin conflict because the only plugin that we currently have active is Visual Composer. So we know now that the issue is either a problem with the theme, a problem with WordPress, or a problem with Visual Composer and its compatibility with WordPress. In this particular case, the issue is the latter. It's a problem with Visual Composer and this version of WordPress. So this could happen to you that you're using WordPress and your theme and Visual Composer quite happily for quite a long time and then suddenly it stops working. What's probably happened is WordPress has been updated and Visual Composer no longer works with that. So you can see right now we're using version 1.1 of the factory theme, which is actually quite old. Um, the latest version is 1.6. So typically what most theme authors will do is they will update uh, Visual Composer on an ongoing basis as new versions are made available by the Visual Composer developers. So you can see in here, I can't actually update Visual, Visual Composer from the plugin screen. Um, this is because Visual Composer is not a plugin that's managed from the WordPress.org repository. It's a commercial plugin that's released by the plugin developer on Code Canyon. So the only way you'll be able to update this plugin, um, if you've bought it or if you've got it via a, a theme forest theme, is to rely on the theme author to update it when they release new versions of the theme. Now, there is an alternative. You can buy Visual Compose yourself directly from Code Canyon, but you don't need to do that. So what I'm going to just concentrate on here now is the update process when the theme author updates the plugin itself. So a lot of people, this can cause a lot of confusion for, for uh, theme users on ThemeForest. So I think it's worthy of just uh, a quick look. So the first thing we're going to do is 
we're going to install a plugin called Easy Theme Plugin Updates. And this plugin is just a nice little lifesaver when it comes to making uh, theme forest theme updates quite simple and straightforward. So you can see this plugin is available, freely available on the WordPress.org repository. I've installed it and I've activated it. So it's a it's quite a subtle plugin. It builds itself into the uh, into the theme update process. So I'll go back to themes now, um, and I will go to add new. So even though factory is installed, I'm going to go through the add new theme process. So that's what our easy theme plugin updates allows us to. Do. So I've already downloaded the latest version of factory from theme first. So I'm just going to go and grab it here from within the package. I choose factory.zip and then I hit install now. So what I'll do is it'll update the latest, it'll upload the latest version of the theme. You can see now that it's backing up the old version of the theme, so that's the important bit. And it's actually taken a copy of the old version of the theme, zipped it and dropped it into our media library, which is very useful. And I always, always, always recommend that you back up your theme before you update it. Um, it's one of the most common problems is that your theme author may have changed the theme quite considerably, may have added in new things that are unexpected or simply could just, you may have made customizations to the theme, which you should never do. You should do via child theme. Um, there's 101 reasons why you should never just update a live production website theme without a backup. So this plugin is just, there's lots of ways you can do that. This plugin just makes it very, very straightforward. Uh, no need to activate because we're already active. Now, I'll just go back. You'll see now. Okay, so from the previous thing, actually, we, we let me just reactivate the plugins that I had previously deactivated just to show you what typically would be. You wouldn't really need to do this step because most of your plugins are already active, but you will recall I deactivated all plugins just as part of the um, debugging process. Now, what you'll see here, so I've just, remember now what I've done. I've uploaded the latest version of the factory theme from Theme Forest. So we can see that now if I go back here, we were previously on 1.1. Now I've updated to 1.60. So it's a bit most people get unstuck at. If I now go back to the page I was on previously, which I think was this agricultural processing page, and I hit edit page, your expectation may be that Visual Composers should just simply now start working. Haven't I updated the theme? Surely that updated Visual Composer as well. Let's have a look. No, the problem has not solved. So what's happened? Okay, so this is the important bit here. The following plugins need to be updated to their latest version to ensure maximum compatibility with this theme. So, the theme author has added this to prompt us to update the two plugins that have been updated to support the latest version of WordPress. So if I simply click on Begin Updating Plugins, this will bring me to a screen that shows me, indeed, currently using LayerSider 562, and the latest version that ships with this theme is 605, and for Visual Composer, we can see we're currently using 4.91, and you can see the latest version ships with theme is 5.0. So the other way you could have gotten to this screen, if you didn't see the prompt that was previously up here, you can see it's now disappeared. You may have seen that and just dismissed this notice. That's not important. And then wondering what the hell's going on. The other way you can get back to that is via appearance and install plugins. So we go back here, it'll show you the same update messages. So let's just do Visual Composer first. There's bulk actions, you can do them all will go. I like to do them one by one, just in case something goes wrong. Again, you should back up your full site before you do this. Let's hit update. You can see again, now it doesn't back up the plugin, which is why you should use something like Updraft Plus, which is a great backup solution for your whole site. Um, so you can see, remove the old version and let's update the plugin. Now let's have a look. Let's go back to our 
website. Let's go back to that page again. Let's go in and edit. Now you'll see, sorry my video just cropped out of me there for a moment, uh, you'll see now our error is gone and lo and behold look at what we have here, Visual Composer is now working again. So just to recap, if you update your theme and Plugins like Visual Composer or Layer Slider, or Revolution Slider still aren't working. Uh, remember, you will always have another step to do. It's not good enough just to update the theme. You also have to update your plugins. So if I, I'm not going to update this now. Um, so if I leave that there, forget to do that, it'll always stay there until such time that I update it. Um, it's a little bit frustrating to have to do this at all, that you can't simply update the plugins from the normal plugin screen. You can remember, obviously, buy your own copy of Visual Composer or Layer Slider or Revolution Slider and use the direct update process for those plugins if you wish. You don't have to do that. Um, it's entirely up to you as to what you prefer to do. If you don't do that, you have to rely on your theme author to update the plugin that ships with the theme when they make theme updates. And that can take some time. Some theme authors will update their themes straight away. Um, some theme authors might take a few days. Other theme authors may never update the plugin. So you're kind of relying on the reputation of the theme author. Some theme authors may leave it a couple of weeks because sometimes with some of these plugins um, it can take a few weeks for them to settle down, particularly with big plugins like Visual Composer where there's major new versions of WordPress. Um, it, theme author may, may leave it a few weeks just to let the plugin itself settle down. So um, yeah, okay, hope that helps um, guide you through the plugin update process for themes from Theme Forest.